How do you survive a lightning strike? Lightning strikes kill about 25,000 and injure 250,000 people around the world each year. Even after surviving, people suffer years later from such problems as nerve damage from the thousands of volts that pass through their body. If you feel your hair stand on end or your skin tingle, it means a lightning strike is imminent. The rule goes that if you see lightning and can't count to 30 before hearing thunder, you should get inside an enclosed structure, such as a building or a car. The structure must be a substantial building rather than a simple shed or bus shelter, as the building's wiring and plumbing directs the electrical charge away. Likewise, if it's a vehicle, it should be a hard top with the windows rolled up and not a convertible. But what do you do if you're completely in the open with no shelter? If you're out in the open, you should make yourself as small as possible. Your head should be crouched between your knees and the only thing touching the ground should be your feet, so do not lie flat on the ground. This is because the lightning strike hits the ground first, and the less contact there is with the ground, the less chance of electricity entering the body. Your hands should be on your ears to minimize hearing loss from the loud clap of thunder above you. It's also important to remove any metal conductors from yourself, like a belt or jewelry. Lightning tends to strike the tallest objects, so trees and telephone poles should be avoided as shelter. In an open area, going to low areas such as a valley can be a good idea, but bodies of water, even puddles, should be avoided, as they too conduct the lightning's electricity. Following all of these actions would give you a chance at survival in a lightning strike.